How's it going, Pokemon fans? Shane back here from Jolly Mons, and today we're going to play our last game with Ninetales for the week. So if you haven't already, make sure you go check out the deck profile. I'll leave a link to that down there in the description. Uh, I'll also go ahead and leave a link to Game 1 and Game 2. Um, I do believe we won both. No, we did lose one of those games. But anyway, you have to go check those out and figure out which one. Um... Uh, I believe we played against Tapu Bulu. No, it was a Tapu Trio deck, and I forget the other one already. It's been a long week. Anyway, here's the deck list. Y'all go ahead and check that out. Uh, but it's time to play a game of Pokemon, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Water electric. Hmm. <sighs> I'm not really too sure what it is. Whatever it is, it's not playing Lele. That's interesting. Okay, top of Coco start. That's pretty good for us. There's going to be some bewares, okay. That's unfortunate. Our hand was pretty good. Hey, this isn't terrible either, so, okay. Let's play Lele. Um, I kind of want to say N. Yeah. Well. Mm, yeah, we'll say N. But we'll go ahead and Ultra Ball first. And get ourselves. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the wool picks down. And play in. Uh, that's not something I really want to play right now. So we'll just go ahead and flying flip. HP to sound okay. The thing I said, I wasn't even sure how much HP that thing had. No one actually plays it. Okay. Like we're going to lose this DCE from Righteous Edge, but don't want to get that spread damage in. Because now if we bring in a Ninetales, we can take a free prize off that Stubble. And then when he berserks us, we'll just Ice Path over it. Assuming we get what we need. And he's going to Lysander the Lele. Okay. So he's going to try and stall. Ooh. But we do have Sycamore, so... Honestly, I feel like he should have just taken out our DCE. I don't, I don't necessarily think that was the right play for him. Uh, let's go ahead and play Rough Seas. Let's go ahead and put some Float Stones down. Mmm... I don't want to put the float stone on Vulpix. We need another DCE though. So we'll put that water energy. Okay, cool. We got the nine tails. Let's 
So, can we kill that thing this turn? It's got 220, 200, no, we can only do 190. So, he'll hit us for 160, which still technically doesn't. Um, it's a really tough call. Oh no, we, we can Kukui next turn for lethal. That's what we'll do. Eh, we played that wrong. Frick. I should have aqua patched. Unfortunate. But, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely played that wrong. I always forget that Blizzard Edge has a double water cost. Oh well, that's fine. There's the field blower. That's why we didn't play our choice band yet. Hey look, it's the beware. He's gonna play that, he'll draw three cards. My client seems to have frozen. There we go. Wasn't letting me get off of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we do have a field blower. We have field blower Lysander. We have things, essentially. <sighs> mm, this isn't good though. We actually have nothing now. Because of that righteous edge. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to Lysander stall the beware. I mean, next turn we can Abyssal Hand, so that'll be nice. We just don't have anything we can do this turn. What are you playing in your deck, though, that's Grass or Electric? I haven't seen anything yet besides Electrode, and you're not going to be attacking with Electrode. And he's going to end us again. Ugh. Okay, at least we have a thing. Right, so now he's going to start coming in for a lot of damage. Or not. Oh, he doesn't have anything damage on the bench. That's right. Sweet. Okay, so let's field blower this crap away. Uh, let's go ahead and drop down the choice band. We'll play a Vulpix. Let's go ahead and put a choice band on Coco. And we'll versus Seeker get ourselves a Sycamore back. There is our Octillery. Hmm. It's unfortunate. We have all these Pokemon in our hand that we can't get rid of. And we still have no energy. We can Aqua Patch, however, to try and get an energy. We can't play anything else. We can Abyssal Hand for one. 
another aqua patch. And that's unfortunate. We should still have two DCE. One's probably prized, is my guess. Yeah. So he's going to hit us for another 90. But it'll put us at 180. At that point, if we get a DCE, Ice Path takes the knockout. Oh, there's a top of Coco. Okay. So he can Sky High Claws for knockout. Interesting. Like, we had this big window where we could have been winning the game, and we kind of just whiffed. Probably N, that's my guess. Because apparently he doesn't have the energy, and he needs an energy. Sycamore like works too. I mean, odds are he gets it. Yeah, he's not going to have the whiffing issues we're having. Span left. Uh, we have one. Uh, let's go ahead and put nine tails down. So if we get a choice ban, we can one shot the Coco. Uh, we'll go in Abyssal Hand first. And there's the rough seas. See, if we just had an energy, we could get the KO here, but we just don't have the energy. This is really frustrating. At this point, I feel like I just hope for the energy and the choice band. Well, no. I think it's safer just to go for this and hope for the energy. Oh, thank God. And uh, we'll Blizzard Edge for a one-shot. Okay, the choice man was prized, so we wouldn't have got it. We made the right play. See, we don't really want to attack with the Coco promo here. Because if we attack with the Coco promo, we just turn on his drop -a. We don't really want to do that. Now he's got a nine tails of his own. <clears throat> wasn't expecting that at all. <coughs> My sander, yeah. What is he going to lie, Sander, though? Artillery? No. It's probably a good idea, because we don't have any float stones left, so we can't really stop him. We'll go ahead and aqua patch to our nine tails. 
choice band to it. Do we just sycamore here and pray for the best? I guess so. Okay, so. We'll go ahead and manually retreat. Come back to the Nine Tails. Now, uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll Ice Blade here to this active. That way we can knock it out next turn. My god, he's gonna lie, Sander, again. Oh my god. This is getting frustrating. Because we only have one more DCE and we don't even know if it's in the deck or not. This is really annoying. Like, I really don't want to Ultra Ball to find out either. That's the worst part. We'll just play it slow and safe. I mean, at least he's smart enough not to be using Rough Seas. By smart, I mean dumb. Um, we just pass here. Oh, now he saw it. Okay. Still fine. We still come in for knockout next turn. Thanks to Aqua Patch. Okay, so he's got the Trampa online with the Choice Band. All right. All right, so that's Aqua Patch. Get a third energy on Nine Tails. We'll attach return to Rema Raid, manually retreat. Um, let's go ahead and just lay the Vulpix and we'll Abyssal Hand for two. Okay. And we'll just Blizzard Edge, take the knockout. Okay, so um, at this rate, we're hoping that DCE is still in these last four cards and not right there. See, he can hit us for 180 right now. Well, then we're just going to Ice Path. So he's got to be very careful here. If he Berserks, well, no, he can't hit us for 180. That doesn't have anything with damage on the bench. So. So if he hits us for 90, we can come back for 80, which isn't enough. Okay. I kind of just want to try Lysander stalling the Snuffle. He's got two DCE in play. 
and one in there. Maybe he just big wheels here. Any day now, sir. Okay, he's gonna Brock screw it. Is he going to get his cocoa? See, running Drampa without running Rainbow Energy or Secret Base, eh, you really need to be running at least one of them. Because he's running into this issue where his Drampa can't really do anything substantial anyway, because he has no way to get damage counters on the bench. Oh, so he's going to whack us for 110. Which means, da, 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 da. let's go ahead and do this. We'll do that. No, we just win here. Uh, Versus Seeker, get Kukui. Play Kukui. Oh, we already attached return. Uh, I kind of missed that part. We don't win here. I'm lying. That was a waste of a Kukui. Uh oh. That was a waste of a Versus Seeker, too. It could super easily cost us the game. For some reason, I totally slipped up that I'd already attached for turn. But even if he retreats out, we can just snipe him from the bench. Okay, so he only hits us for 100 with Coco. And he's just spamming well played. I think it's 50 for every energy I have, right? Yeah, so he only hits us for 200. Unless he hits the choice band. If he has the ch Really? Really? <sighs> That's annoying. Because we had game next turn. All right, well, that's an unfortunate loss. Uh, we were fine against the Coco, but he had the Choice Band, which was kind of lame. But anyways, guys, that's it for Nine Tails. Uh, I don't know what they're doing next week. There is a possibility we start doing Expanded more, or at all, just because uh, the first two regionals of the season that we're going to, uh, Fort Wayne and Daytona, are both Expanded, so we may start venturing into Expanded videos. I'm not 100% sure about that yet. But uh, anyways, guys, like, comment, share with your friends, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always, stay jolly.